What's up? Welcome back to another video from Red Empire Gaming. And today we're going to play well. Have some bad news. We was going to play challenge. I did play this challenge. I won it first time. As you can see here, all these here was wins first time. And the recording surface and there's a new one what I tried it just crash. For some reason I just record two minutes. So, I try a new recorder, your easy screen recorder. So, please, this one works great. So, I also win the emote here first try. I had so that video was a good video. I had some tips and tricks showing you what to choose. So, I will just say it now. So, let's get okay, one emote or that I drop. Um, okay, doesn't matter. So we go down and play some ladder with this deck here. Since I messed up last time, and this is the deck here that I was showcasing last video. So if you're new to the channel, and want to subscribe for more Clash content, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you need help with Clash Royale, leave a comment down below. I'm trying my best to help out. So, okay, fire spreads are the bread. We got to soak that. Couldn't do nothing. Let's just go over the bridge. So with the draft challenge, I recommend you choose heavy. Like with Sparky, I choose Sparky all the time and Sparky was a destroyer. Sparky just destroy anything. So choose Sparky if you get if I choose minor, choose minor, choose cards like balloon. As I say balloon, you drop balloon. Okay, with spec up so help out too because it's kinda of low level. Okay, still get on it. So let's just go with Ice Golem on who I do think he backed in for not all. So this is the second video he actually making because the recording so of like one crash. Okay, let's attempt a new emote, shame at the unlock it. I will just lock the guards here. And we can get some nice tower damage. So I'll just cycle mini pack any buck. I don't want to play Musketeer because it's Balloon I'm playing against. So it might be Giant. Or Minor. So let's just go Spear Gobs because Spear Gobs don't really help. Okay, Musketeer. Hi, my Ramanian to deal with the Balloon. We gotta take the damn damage from the Prince. I'm just going with Tahoe Guy there because they have a nice support and troops on this side. Here. Okay, what are all the troops? The info now just lock on. Okay, Mega Minion just some shots. And eh, not really. So let's just go spare goblins. Like, it don't really matter because it's on the level. So, Mini Pack any back. We are back in a bad cycle here now. So let's just go with Ice Golem. Yeah, I'll go with musket here. Yeah. I'll also with log here. Yeah. And spare gobs. Mini pecker. Protect my musket here. Yeah. And hope I die in front. Die in front. I will not pull. Now I wish I had something like zap. Musket here. Yeah. Take all the inferno. Nice. Um, I need fireball here now. Ace up. Come on. Perfect. And let's just go in with four guide and mini packer. Four guide and mini packer. Spare gobs. Okay, I did not really get it in time. You will also drop guards. So this here, I can go in all over the place. Okay, you just fireball hands up. So good game. So that was my bot from the start. I played it like wrong. So on my cycle too was also bad. So as I was saying, with the challenge to giant strong cats that is the tower. So giant goblin giant, even royal giant, royal hogs, 
आणि माझ्या काचा माझ्या काचा व्हेरी स्ट्रॉंग लाईक सो माझे रिप्लेयर्स होत आहे हर माझ्या काचा आहे सो ब्रेन होम दी गेम फॉर मी आवाज गेम जेम जा सो आय ॲक्च्युली शो ऑन इय लाईक दस गेम इय केलाच रॉन्चू इथलाच रॉन्चू डी फायनल गेम सो दस वॉज दी फायनल गेम इय आज एक चे रॉयल जायंट मिनियन वॉच सो बिटवीन दीस टू काच आय वन स्कामी अँड दॅन माझे काचा बिकॉज दी वन आणि गेम वॉट आ लॉस माझे काचा इज ऑफ कोर्स वॉट आ लॉस अँड हे आय नाव इट मेक नो सेन्स चूज एन मिनियन वॉट बिकॉज ही धा फाय स्प्रेट्स वॉच एज टू इ लक्सा तर ते कोता फायव्ह इ लक्सा कार सो इ वॉज अन स्नोबॉल वॉज माय प्लॅन टू टेक आउट दी मिनियन वॉट as i can see yeah good luck thumbs up so when i see royal giant in the back i just cycle royal hawks is not really a cycle but a cyclic so i do some chip damage try to force out some more elixir from the opponent so he could not back up the royal giant much a catch at the damage on the royal giant some skeletons and i drop evils now to deal the stun and the cody that goblin so as i can see now goblin giant are strong on the push me now i'm going to read the all of the damage and also drop archers to help clean up the night watch even though he dropped the ice golem the defending archers are still the core the night watch so that was nice I yeah, try to drop royal hogs in time to try and distract the dark goblin as soon as I cross the bridge but because dark goblin so fast they just lock on to the tower also here is get a choice between earthquake and um, snowball to snowball sometimes it's get earthquake and scaly barrel so two scaly barrel scaly barrel very strong and the signs are also a nice cycle card So here I just go on with Skami and my plan was just to see if he had dropped anything for his Skami to waste it because I know Royal Giant that I still get one shot and my plan was just to see if he had waste anything if he waste anything he had just help out me and he did not he just dropped Fire Spirit so I still do Elixir I spent which really helped me out and here I just snowball I was waiting for him when he answered That is why I take so long with the snowball but I say if he drop the snowball I mean if he drop the minion I will just have to deal with it So I decided to drop the snowball Here I went to trial hooks and as you can see I had two tower down which was my advantage I also play a hound deck I will show you how you play after But I was strong with it I tried to help clean up some of the minion I was from quite the next side of the arena Yeah, I just use Evers. Although he dropped the the ice golem, I kind of dropped in the box, so this Kami still has deal with the Royal Giant. So this was good game. Here. As you can see, Earthquake kind of useless in this challenge. Even if I'm in front of the wall, you can always out cycle that. And I'm not a different card job. So it makes no sense using Earthquake in this draft challenge. Because I had Earthquake too, and I did not play it even once. Not once I played. So it's always a time. So that was the final game there. And I'm actually ready to play with the Hong. Okay, it was the game right before the finals here. Now watch this deck versus the Hong. So yeah, I might come up with this deck here. Also I have counter deck. It was a graveyard with with um with with goblin barrel ice golem graveyard poison and something else i heard but it was very it was a deck with only troops like that like attack and troops are going to the tower and when i get a deck like that is a counter deck i will show it after the replay and then i will jump into one more live game hopefully we can get back the trophies So when I see lava how many buck as you can see it was a bad cycle and we don't have plenty acres I drop his apis and then he drop the 
Um, so I literally, I literally just drop um Royal Giant as a Seawaki got drop faith. They drop skeletons. Now oh, this gave me a princess was annoying. Princess was very annoying. I even said that while I was playing it live on the recorder on the phone going on crash. So here I show off arrows the princess. The two princess. I still arrows. I tried to hit one princess, but it was on the target at the time. But what happened was the ice golem kind of bump it and it push it back a little bit. So that was my bar. As you can see, push and nice. And at this point, I just wanted to give up it all. because I tried to defend it with the knight and then I just give up on it. So I would just leave that and uh, wait for the play to take out my tower and for the king tower to take out the, um, the, 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 the night witch and just drop the goblin guy on the princess. So I just take that damage. Now here is where this person must made the mistake, right? Because as a golem player or hong player, you want to be pushing the same lane as the next person. So when you drop hong this lane, I know I have to win because I hardly have things to take out A. So I drop Royal Giant and Prince and I know the Prince will deal with it so I wasn't worried even if he drops skeletons. Now that Princess and knowing so here are arrows it because I want the Prince to connect and deal with the tower. Now here when you rush with the Royal Hogs, I drop my Goblin Gang and I also try to get Ice Golem in time to help to try and stop the Fire Spirits from connecting but it did not really work out. But here I just drop Knight to try and help tank with the um the lava pops and as you can see I was in that princess. That princess just was just too annoying. I drew in the middle and now you couldn't stop it. And as you can see Knight helped clean up, I did clean up and I just drop plenty things here. Yeah, I spread and knight just to try and stop as much damage as possible and it was a good thing because he lightning and I did not know he had lightning. All this time I did not know he had lightning, he did not play to us yet. And when I see lightning, I was like, good thing. I spent Ice Wiz and Knight to try and stop all the damage on the Royal Hogs. So that was a good game. Now I'm going to showcase the counter deck here. This deck you must always try and play it on a counter if you get a deck like this. So let's, let's show it. Okay, this giant sparky x deck where I just OP that deck and um, destroy the opponent, not even in double elixir. I just mash him up. Oh, where is it? As I can see, almost with sparky was just 3 crown graveyard. And earthquake was useless. Except to the end when. Okay, you can see, I won't spoil it. So let's go here for sure. I want to goblin barrel because I don't know if I like that giant or minus. So let's go with our care where you know I could at least try and get direct direct damage to the tower. And here I can choose between which one of these here. But I think I want graveyard. Just because the reason why I want graveyard here is because I don't give the electro -wiz. So it makes no sense. I give in here. Electro is and I take in Ram Rider and Electro is get shut down uh, Ram Rider a hundred percent. So yes, I to look at them things soon. Not only Ram Rider strong, but I don't give the Electro is so he could deal with it easy for four Elixir and get a positive Elixir trade. So Night Witch Wizard. I just dropped Royal Recruit because I didn't have nothing else to drop. I think I went team with Barrel. Okay, yes, I went team with Barrel on the stronger side. As you can see, he had Zap here. Yeah. But I don't know, he had Zap on Wizard help deal with it here. Yeah. And I was getting a little chip on the left hand side. So I think Bomber got a shot here. Yeah. There's one shot here. Yeah. Now here I had nothing to stop it. So I just spam. I just try and soak up as less damage as possible now, as you can tell my deck is not the strongest deck the only thing about reaching the tower is problem barrel and graveyard so with this you have to kind of play relax and just try and counter 
So when them don't play on Spratola Rexa, then you just go in with a big push and try and take it over. So yeah, I just wanted to recruit Cindy Buck because I was thinking I just have to play calm. So that's why I drop recruit Cindy Buck. I now no record this, so that is why I call in it what I do because I can remember what I do before it even happened. So I just tell her what I was thinking because that footage here messed up. So I just went in with Barrel here. As you can see, it worked out. You got some nice chip. Yeah, I went with Wizard and I just ignore that. But when he ram right, I just again I drop my Twitch candle and get too much of damage. And he actually thinking right, he now has 5 elixir on the executioner. So I had to give him a graveyard on the next side. And as you can see, once I was at it, that tower, boom shot, take all that easy. But I was like, nice. So this tower low, but what should happen here? He coming towards that tower and I defending it. So I going up with a counter push now. What is counter push going up? Rally Cruz. <laughs> Rally Cruz wants to be a goblin. That is only push I was talking about, but you can see it soon. So, um, Nine to chin back, you know, just simple cycling, just getting ready for he push because he push very strong. But up, they call the bomber, which was nice, just launch a goblin barrel, just a triangle sound chip. I just cycling too, just a triangle sound chip, and I ignore the, the electro is now over here. He, this was his mistake, he dropped a bad ram rider, he dropped it into our zip. So, this is the push here, he looking to defend. On the left hand side, I wanna see that he was drop. I know he was rolling like so, and I just went all out. What do we take with barrel and we take it out? Because he went electro was on execution, he just went too heavy. So I know that was a good game for me. So with the draft, yes, kill a jump into ladder. Just choose strong cards, choose. Don't choose the counter to the card. If you can take the counter, try and take the counter. Let's give this person a thumbs up. And the good luck. This is like a cycle spell out at the bridge. This person here, BMN, he was have a strong OP there. Yep. Okay, so that's Muscat in the back. Um, maybe whole guy now, of course. My go to which? Or you might also have Nero. Okay, love. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. My ramen here, mini back in the back. The channel just keep the giant skeleton away and it should run forward. Okay, perfect. So I just go with Musket here to deal with the witch. He might have clone or freeze. Okay, fireball. He might also still have um, things, so let's just go with. I mean, yeah, nothing not. He might also still have freeze or fireball. I mean, um, freeze or clone, not fireball. He have fireball. Okay, one hold it. That was nice. So I just go with spear. Goblins are the bridge again. Just a cycle. And see if he can get each up. It's level 11, so he might leave it. Okay, he did not leave it. I just go high, mega minion. Start a work on giant skeleton. We have time in Pekka. I take it out completely on ice golem to start the minion. The minion here is here. There's plenty of work. Now, my goal here in double elixir all is fireball and lock the witch. So, I'm not going on go with horn because you can just drop witch. So, right now, I just save the elixir. Okay, now I bring you with it for rider and spare goblins. Okay, he had mini packer. I forget about mini packer totally. So I just want my minion to help clean up with the mini packer. Okay, let's just go with a high musket here. <coughs> Ice column in front. With a hog rider. See if we can get some fireball value here. Okay, so fireball value. Fireball unlock the witch. So we kill off that, we kill off the Giant skeleton, okay, lovely. I just go long to protect the musket here. That's what we're talking about. Nice. And four guy with some spear gaps. Hopefully, we do as up. Okay, this will great here. 
our log hopefully you drop watch no watch okay so we still did really spare goblins and we get a few shots not plenty shots what we were taking we got mini pack any back the cycle ice golem provider oh, high firewall already drop which too maybe he will drop it okay spare gobs in front of champ attack okay firewall hit off the mini packer and the minions unlock so this should be we game here he played us totally bad but that's the one that's the one to say that now come on loss so mini packer high on the bridge but that whole guy there okay log that will be really nice now firewall the witch and take it our value perfect as you can see, just because this deck has 3.12 that I've been cycling so fast, I just go on to the tank. Okay, perfect. Spare gobs. Come on, spare gobs. Mini pecker, hit mini pecker. Okay, that one spare gob. Fireball it tower. Oh god, my bad. I didn't notice he thing was so low. But it's 3.1 so you can cycle. I just go to a yeah? so you can pull out that tombstone. I just go on. Spare goblins. And fireball and good game. If I did fireball he tower, but I just fireball my for safety as I can see. Yes. <laughs> Tell me remote. Yeah, so you feel it I win just because you have a strong neck, but you don't know who you're playing against. You know? I know that I is a professional player, but I know to play. And plus my, I have two the cards here what deck or what not even max. So as you can see the deck very strong, 5700, for sure I could reach champion with this deck once at max 59, 6000 and go all the way up. So that is it for today's video, if you are new to the channel, remember and subscribe for more Clash content, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.